Hello there, guys. Uh, just a quick one off out. Um, Dad has put uh, 30 quid in the bank, so off to go and get the boys of bare necessities um, and see whether Asda is completely rife with zero nappies and zero baby wipes or whether actually I'm going to be able to get baby wipes. But anyway, I've got the two boys with me. A lot out of the puddles. And um, obviously, there's a lot of criticism on what sort of parent I am. So, mind out the way for the bike, dudes. I thought I would quickly show you my kids when we are just literally sort of popping out. And um, look at that in the mud. Yes, come on before you go in the puddle. And then obviously there's like, what have you got in your hand, Elijah? Two pine cones. You've got two pine cones. And you've got, what have you got? What have you got, dude? What has happened? It's broke. What is it though? It's, it's, the pine cone is broke. Yeah, what are pine cones for? Yeah, for the tree. Mm. So I thought I'd very quickly show you the neglectful mother that I am who takes children out looking scruffy and dirty and grubby and don't have appropriate clothes on and no shoes and totally neglected children. Hey! Up you go. Don't push him over like that. You all right? Yes, you can put them in your pocket. You can put them in your pocket, but you don't push your brother over like that, dude. Go on, put them in your pocket. In there. Just watch out, we've got bikes and all sorts passing us. Yeah, but you don't have to push him over, do you? You're going to say sorry to each other? Sorry! Uh, uh, and hold tight, shake hands. Bust, tickle. Do it out. That's it. Answer each other. That's it. Your brothers. Doosh. That's it. Well done. Now go. So anyway, just going to quickly jump in the car. But this is. I thought what I would show you is. Obviously, my house is that big tower block there, and this is. Wow! I have just seen the prettiest transgender. What you having a bike, dude? Wow! The prettiest. Transgender man ever who looks like a woman. Wow, she was stunning. He was stunning, wasn't she? That was definitely 100% Chinese transgender. 100%. Um, so, yeah, I'm showing you the distance it is that the council have put my car away from my home. So, I'm going to walk the entire journey to my parking permit that I have to pay £17 a month for, or well, £18. So, basically, look, my block of flats is over there and we are still walking and also show you just how much the system don't understand people's conditions and how much it is just a case of you get what you're given whether it causes you straight across guys whether it causes you problems I'm, even though you're saying I'm live and I'm not watching the kids my friend Jamie is actually walking with the kids for anybody who says oh she's live in and she's not watching the kids and things like that Shiloh is directly behind me with my friend Jamie holding his hand and Elijah is down here holding mine so up yours um, so yeah I'm still showing you this is just proof in the pudding really that being I've had social oh dude being I've had social all the way around me um, and everybody is aware of my condition now. So it has flipped back over, because obviously, as people know, Aaron and Faith were taken, and they said Erlos Danlos Syndrome was the easiest condition to claim to have, and then right at the last minute, on the day of the trial, flipped it over once they got all the paperwork, to say that I was so sick that the children would end up... Right, so we're now going down here. So we've literally just come from the block of flats all the way around here, and now we've got to come down here. So, and I still am um, at my, my car. So, taking into consideration that I've had social workers, adult social workers, doctors, all these people since 2016, since I've been here in Portsmouth, and I announced myself as pregnant, homeless, and also in stress and trauma from literally at the kidnap of Aaron and Faith, and then obviously campaigning, um, getting arrested with David Cameron, and all of the cases that I've heard. And I came here to basically restore and heal. So so now we're through here so now i've got to go up here <laughs> so we're on yay there's our car so anyway 
An Ayalos Danlos syndrome person would predominantly be somebody who might use a wheelchair, might not use a wheelchair, but at the end of the day, they have to be able to get in their car. Just let's have a look where my car is parked. How the heck do I? I have a purpy permit. Look, there is my parking permit. How the heck do I get myself in here? So how the heck is this system that even my son understanding that I am a... Oh God, let's hope my car's gonna work because Oh, no. Here we go. Is it going to unlock? Is the battery flat? Did she? Yes! It unlocked. Um, so, basically, as a mother who is understood by these services to have EDS, <laughs> I have to get both of my kids, obviously, into the car, which is fine. But I either have to put um, this side to the wall, which then means... Both the kids, I've got to lean over to the inside. Don't forget, when I had Aaron and Faith, um, for those that have followed me since the beginning, then Britax actually sponsored me with the Twizzle car seats so the kids could literally face out forward and um, I could get them in and out of the car. But now, obviously, you've got to get Kelly Cottom into the car. And per se, Kelly Cottom has got to get in down here. Squeeze. So already, I've just twisted my knee. Oh, for fuck's sake. And somehow... I'm a little bit of a skinny fuck, so. But I'm saying, from a point of view of somebody with Erlos Danlos syndrome, just got to get in her bloody car, day in, day out. So the other day, I had to climb over the seat. If you've got no seat belt. If I had to climb, so now even just to put the seat belt on Shiloh. Seriously. Right, I've just done my shoulder, my back. I am now physically actually hurting my back. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to climb in and you guys. Sorry, I'm gonna have to actually climb in. This is crazy. So just to give you an idea now that as an EDS mother, I have to actually climb over my kids and get in the middle of my car and I'm just going to put you down there, <laughs> later, and then strap my kids into the car seat. Hello, kids. And they want to penalise me as an EDS mother yes. for people we making things now. even harder for me, me than they have to be. Because, of course, when it was absolutely raining, I parked the car back over the other side because I'd been shopping. So now we're going up to Asda, which is why Jamie is with me, because I have to park my car here. Carry the shopping all the way around to the block. And chances are as well, I could have a child asleep. I could have, say, I don't know, another injury because I've done this stupid thing. How come, yeah? I'm pretty, you switch car seats, yeah, I get that. But how come you are so much bigger than your brother when you were two and he is three... Yeah, you were the one with the bigger feet. You were the one with the car seat that I've now had to readjust to go bigger. And um, yeah, they've switched over car seats today. But either way, I am now in the middle and I have now got to get out of the per se car. No, you have to put your seatbelts on. Dad, keep them on. And then. My water gun, my water gun. You could all turn around and say. Where is your gun? Water gun. There. Uh, oh, it's okay. Charlotte's got one. I got one. So, I got one. I can't get it. Oh, is your seat bound? So, said mother now. Now, climb out again. Man, your feet, dude. It make it a little bit easier. Dude, can you switch your feet? Look, seriously. Oh. So, said mother has had to climb out the car. Mind out then, Jamie. So, said mother now. Has to, as an EDS mother, so say my back's okay, separated, say I am having twisted pains on my hips. This is how I did my hip in yesterday, the other day, because I had to climb over, and that was what caused the problems. So, anyway, someone said I look like uh, my mum actually said, Oh, you're clearly on drugs when you're on it. Do I look like I'm on drugs? 
going on we drive now. and drunk as well so anyway before i go what's heart got to say you feel better in yourself and in your head so think about it this way it hasn't been for nothing you feel better in yourself and better in your head. Mother's Day, guys, next week. I would love to get all of the mothers marching, but I'm not sure whether or not I could commit to it. But if there are mothers out there that are willing to do this, then let's go. There's something that we can do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go and shoot off, go shopping. Oh, I've got... Nah! I've got 30 quid in a budget, and do I put a fiver petrol in, ten of petrol? But it's just to get back and forth to Asda. And... Yeah, let's go and see whether or not there's any nappies on the shelf. See you later, guys. Oh, hang on a minute. Have we got a song? Have they redone the full Monty? Oh, Jamie, you'd be so fuck if you. Oh, seriously, Jamie, would you do a fundraising calendar as full Monty? What's full Monty? <laughs> What's full Monty? This is how amazingly naive my my, no, my little face is. Yes, know. you are very naive. What's what is naive a full Monty? Thing? What's the full Monty? Well, there's a breakfast called the full Monty. Right. Yeah. And oh, that right, full Monty right. And the film the full Monty. Yeah, and so so. Where they have to they all strip off and do the full Monty. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, guys, that is how far I have to go from my flat to the car. And also, don't forget, you're coming from the point of view of prior to Aaron and Faith being taken, I was a mother on higher rate disability, higher rate care, um, supported as an EDS Asperger's mother to be self-employed to work with all of these support systems around me, indicative budget, to then having Aaron and Faith taken, to then now being in this situation, whether I have children or not, I have a right to fulfill my purpose, to do what I need to do. But anyway, I don't want my petrol running out, so I'm going to shoot up to you as the quickly, and um, I'll catch you later. But this is how much the services are not putting the correct supports in because if they were then um this wouldn't be happening uh, because i have to carry two children or walk two children luckily they walk now but could you imagine if i'd had a car seat and a walking child and i have to go from here to there and with my shopping and then everybody points fingers because i've ended up in a and e and my children have ended up in foster care because i'm a lone mother and then I'm a criminal. Wow, what a system we have, hey?